Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bond court is now in session. Good morning, Your Honor. I'm the certified federal interpreter already sworn today. One second while I connect to the headset. All right, thank you. Your Honor, I'm truly sorry, but uh, there's a technical glitch with my equipment. I'm going to have to reboot the machine. Could you call right back? Uh, sure. Thank you. Good morning, Your Honor. This is Laura Bretaña, Spanish interpreter, previously sworn. Good morning. This is Judge Bing at BRC1. Can you do a sound check for me with the headsets? Sí. There's contact, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Is your name Isaias Alvarez Sanchez? Sí. Yes. Case number 22MM4323. Sir, you were arrested for a crime of domestic violence. Do you need a lawyer to help you with your Sí, podría asignármelo, sí. If you could assign one to me, yes. I'll go ahead and do so. I'll appoint the services of the public defender. Do you and Yolanda live together? Sí. Yes. All right. You are entitled to terms of release. I'm going to set your bond at um, $250. You're to have no contact with the victim, Yolanda. You also cannot return to that home. I will give you a one-time exception. If you're accompanied by a police officer, call their office and um, gather some belongings. And after that, you cannot return again. And you're also not allowed to have any weapons. If you do, they need to be surrendered to the police department within four hours of your release. Without telling me about the case, do you have any questions? Mm, sí. Yes. Yes, what's the question? ¿Cómo podría hacer para yo este, ver a mis hijos para poderles... Este comprar sus alimentos y hasta por el momento. Uh, what can I do for me to be able to see my children and buy food for them and such uh, for now? Okay, you're to have no contact with her. Speak with your attorney. Um, she circled the phone number on that paper, I believe. She does not speak Spanish, but when you get released, call their office. Thank you. Darlana uh, Finn, Mayor Beltran. Um, sir, do you need an interpreter? No, yeah, please. I'm going to have you broadcast since the witness also needs an interpreter. Ms. Mayor Beltran and uh, Mr. Rosario Casadiago, please raise your right hand. I'll have you both sworn in. La señora Mayor Beltran y el señor Rosario Casadiago, por favor, levanten la mano derecha para prestar juramento. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you'll give today is the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Juran y prometen que el testimonio que van a prestar será la verdad, solamente la verdad y nada más que la verdad. You'll need to answer out loud. Tienen que contestar en voz alta. Perfecto. Thank you. You can put your hand down. Gracias. Pueden bajar la mano. Are you Heli Alfonso Rosario Casadiego? Please yeah. answer. Usted, usted Heli Alfonso Rosario Casadiego. Sí. And are you Dariana? Sí. 22MM4319. Dariana, you were arrested for battery domestic violence. Señora Dariana, usted fue puesta bajo arresto por agresión física por violencia doméstica. 
Kelly, um, how do you know, how are you related to Ms. Beltran? Señor, dígame, ¿qué relación tiene usted con la señora Beltran? Ella es mi novia. She's my girlfriend. You live together. Uh -huh. Ustedes conviven. Yes. Are you afraid of her? Usted le teme. No. Do you want her to return home? Uh -huh. ¿Le desea que ella regrese a la casa? Sí. Yes. Do you have any concerns about your safety? ¿Usted tiene alguna preocupación por su seguridad? You'll need to answer out loud, sir. Señor, por favor, no. Voz alta. No. Ma'am, would you like to return home? Señora, ¿a usted le gustaría regresar a su casa? No. No. Okay, you want to live separately from him. ¿Usted desea vivir aparte de él? Yes. Where, do you know where you would live? ¿Sabe usted dónde viviría? Con mi brother, con mi hermano. With my brother. Does your brother live in Orlando? Su hermano vive en Orlando. Sí. Yes. Pretrial, uh, not to be pretrial release. Can she be screened again? And I think it was because of her um her status. status. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to set your bond at one hundred dollars, ma'am. Somebody will need to bond you out because of the conflict in the testimony. Um, just no contact with. Do you want to contact your um? Your boyfriend by phone. Señora, se le concede fianza. Haciéndole la fianza, alguien va a tener que prestarla por usted. Debido a las contra al, al conflicto que hay entre ambas declaraciones, señora, le pregunto. ¿Usted desea tener contacto eh, con él telefónico? No. Okay. No. While things are going on, I'm going to order that she have no contact with you. So she cannot call you, sir. Or you cannot talk to her either. Bueno, entonces, mientras esto se resuelve, se prohíbe el contacto entre ambos. Señor, ella le queda prohibido llamarle a usted. Usted tampoco la puede llamar. You are to live with your brother. Usted va a vivir con su hermano. What is his name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de él? Daniel. Daniel fue un mayor. Daniel fue un mayor. Fue un mayor. ¿Cómo? Daniel fue un mayor. Daniel fue un mayor. You're not to own any weapons, Miss Mayor Beltran. Señora Mayor Beltran, se le prohíbe la tenencia de armas. That if you have any, they need to be turned over to the police department within four hours. Si usted es titular de algún arma, tendrá que entregarla a las autoridades en un plazo de 24 horas luego de ser puesta en libertad. You need to live separately. Se les prohíbe la convivencia. Um, he, Helly can stay in the home. But you cannot return there. Haley se podrá quedar en la casa, pero usted no puede regresar allí. I will make a one-time exception, though. Call the police department. They'll accompany you to the home that you shared previously shared with Haley to collect your belongings. After that, you you cannot return. Pero se hará una excepción. Se le permitirá regresar en una ocasión a la residencia que compartía con Haley a recoger. Su pertenencia siempre y cuando esto lo haga acompañada de las autoridades. Thank you. Your case is over. Gracias, Thank you, sir. El caso, esta audiencia ha terminado. Gracias. No puedo hablar. No puedo oh, oh, no. May I say something? Yes. What is your question? Oh, I need her in the room while she... Bring her back, please. One moment, Madam Interpreter. Yes. What is your question? Sí, dígame, señor. ¿Cuál es su pregunta? Yo no tuve nada que ver en esto. Que, o sea, ella piensa que yo fui el que llamó a la policía. Yo no, en ningún momento yo llamé a la policía. Yo solo quiero ayudarla. Yo no estoy aquí por más nada. Y me duele mucho todo esto verla en esta Lento, situación. Slow down. What did she say? Señor, permítame interpretar. I had nothing to do with this. I wasn't the one that called the police. Maybe she thinks I was the one, the one that did it, but I did not. I'm here just because I want to help. This hurts me a lot. All right. It sounds like there is a pause in your relationship. Ma'am, do you need a public defender that's a lawyer to help you with your case? Señor, parece que ha habido una pausa en su relación. Señora, le pregunto, ¿usted necesita un abogado de oficio para que le ayude en este caso? You'll need to answer out loud, please. Tiene que contestar en voz alta, por favor. No. No. Thank you, everybody. This case is over.
Gracias a todos. Esta audiencia ha terminado. Roger Rose Quintana. Yo, ¿qué, ¿Qué va a pasar con, cuando la liberan? No. Sir, I can't discuss this case anymore. I don't know what you said because the case is over and she is no, the defendant, she is no longer in the courtroom. Señor, ya yo no puedo hablar más de este caso. La acusada no se encuentra en la sala. No sé qué fue lo que dijo, pero ya no podemos hablar más del caso. Contact the victim advocates op, um, at the state attorney's office if you have questions. Si usted tiene preguntas, se puede comunicar con la Procuraduría de las Víctimas en la oficina de la Fiscalía. Okay, are you Roger? Um, let's headset him, sound check him, please. Sí. There is contact. Are you Roger Rhodes Quintana? Sí. You have an open case for petty theft. Um, the last time it was addressed in court was 2021. So I will talk about that case as well as your new case for battery domestic violence. Sir, do you need a lawyer to help you with your new criminal charges? Bueno, este, yo no entiendo mucho de estos problemas. Como puede ver, es la segunda vez que estoy involucrado en esto y la primera vez no necesité nada de eso. Eh, quisiera aceptar la mejor opción para mí, pero quisiera también dejar saber mi parte, ¿no? Si se puede. Well, uh, I, I have no knowledge about this, you see. As you can see, this is only the second time I've been in trouble with the law, and the first time I didn't need an attorney. You have, okay. I would like to accept whatever is best for me. And, of, and also, I would like to give my version, if at all possible. Do you want a lawyer today, yes or no? Sí. Yes. I'll appoint the public defender services. Your office was already appointed in 2020 MM 6920 AO. I'll take no action on those charges. I'm just going to let you know PTD had already been revoked a few days ago due to other noncompliance with PTD. I'll still take no action on that. In case 2022 MM 4341, you are entitled to a bond based on the facts of this case, as well as the fact that you have another pending case, I'm setting your bond at $1,000. You're to have no contact with Keisha, the victim. She can stay where she lives. You're not allowed to go back there with a one-time return with a police officer exception. You're not to have any weapons. Weapons are be to be surrendered within four hours of your release from jail and comply with the Department of Children and Families. Your attorney does not speak Spanish. She will circle the phone number for you to call when you're released. That concludes your case. We will not hear your side of the story today. Is that correct, Defense Counsel? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the number on the form, if you call, you can speak one-on-one -on -one with your attorney about any defenses you may have. Today is not the day to speak about the facts of the case. El problema de mis evidencias de caso son videntes, no son, no son eh, bajo palabras. Se puede, se puede notar en la marca de mi frente. Y tengo otras opciones más. The issues I have, the evidence I have with the case is visual. It's, it's, it's not, it's not uh, uh, related to words. And you can see it. You can see the marks I have in my, on my forehead. Thank you, sir, for your information. Your case is concluded. You can take off the headsets now. Sir, what is your name? Pedro Antonio Vargas. 
Mr. Vasquez, you have a warrant out of Osceola County, case number 20MM1614 for petty theft. Your bond is $5,000. Do you need a public defender, a lawyer, to help you with your case? Sí, este, ¿puedo decir algo? Yes, okay. Okay, este, a mí me arrestaron por ese caso hace un mes atrás y estuve aquí por eso mismo, por, por, porque falté a la, porque yo falté a, sir, a juicio. Sir, sir, can you tell him to slow y, down so you can y, interpret? Yes, I, I want to say that I got arrested for this case one month ago when I was here one month ago because I, I did not appear at the trial. And that's why you got arrested again, because you missed your court date. Thank you. That concludes your case. You can post your bond and call your attorney. Thank you. Okay. See? Do you, Do you have two cases? No, he only has one. Do you need a Spanish interpreter? No, I do not. Okay, we'll go ahead and disconnect with the interpreter. Thanks for your help this morning, ma'am. Thank you, Your Honor. Sorry about the wait. What's your name? Jocelyn Camacho. Ms. Camacho, you were arrested for a charge of battering dating violence. I do find that there's probable cause. Do you need a lawyer from the public defender's office to help you with your case? Me too, yes. I'll go ahead and appoint one to help you. Sir, please raise your right hand. I'll have you sworn in. Do you solemnly swear to interpret, excuse me, do you solemnly swear that the testimony you'll give today is the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Is your name Michael Wilson? Yes. You can put your hand down. Mr. Wilson, how are you related or how do you know Ms. Camacho? My girlfriend. Do you live together? No, we do not. Are you in fear of her? No, I'm not. Do you want to have contact with her? Of course. Do you have any fears about your or concerns about your safety or well-being at her hands? No. Were drugs or alcohol involved? Uh, yes. It was her birthday, yes. Alcohol or drugs? Uh, alcohol. All right. And State, do you have any questions for Mr. Um, Wilson? No, Your Honor. Defense counsel, do you have any questions for Mr. Wilson? No, Your Honor. Will she qualify for PTD? Could you afford a bond of a hundred of two hundred and fifty dollars, ma'am? Um, yes. I'm going to set your bond at two hundred and fifty dollars. Here are the conditions of your release. You're to have no hostile contact with your boyfriend. You cannot do anything to harm, threaten, scare, or intimidate him. You're not allowed to have any weapons. If you do, they need to be surrendered within four hours of your release locally, or four hours of your return to Chicago or your home. Um, additionally, and just show the, um, the police officers in Illinois my court order, you're to surrender any weapons, and um, you're not to consume any alcohol or use any illegal drugs as a condition of your release. Do you have any questions? No, I do not. Thank you. Do you have any questions, sir? Uh, yes. Um, I, it's not a question. I just want to say, like, I do condemn you guys for taking no tolerance for domestic violence and stuff. Uh, I was a victim in Chicago with my last relationship. I don't think she meant to do what she did. It was more of a a reaction of scaredness because she didn't know who I was. So everything got escalated. It was supposed to be a missing person because no one could find her for two and a half hours. Um. So any objection um, based on his testimony? Any objection to a bond reduction of a hundred dollars? Your Honor, State was already concerned just due to them being out of state regarding Ms. Um, Camacho showing back up to court. Uh, she has no other community ties to the area. So State would ask if it's going to Okay, so I'm going to stay the bond at 250 Your attorney is going to uh, circle her phone number. Please call their office upon being released from jail. You do have to appear for all future court dates. Do you have any questions, ma'am? Am I going to have to come back to Florida for future court dates? Um, Ma'am, you will be given a court date. You do have to follow the instructions and the direction of your attorney. Stay in touch with them for sure. Thank you. Kev Thank you, sir. Kevin Racia Rivera. Are you Mr. Rivera? Yes, ma'am. You're here for a warrant 
um, out of Pinellas County, you're being held at no bond in case 14 CF 17470. Um, the underlying offense is traveling to meet a minor. Thank you. Um, do you want a public defender for the purposes of while you're in Orange County Jail? Uh, sure. I'll appoint one. Thank you. So, after that is Stephanie Langford. Ms. Langford, do you need a public defender to help you while you're in the Orange County Jail? Yes, ma'am. Um, you're here for add-on charges in cases 19 CF 6667, 6706, and 6796. You were, it's alleged that you committed new offenses that violated your community control. Um, you're being held at no bond on all of those, so your public defender can assist you. Thank you. Your Honor, was that all four? Yes. On all cases. Brian B. Coat. Mr. B. Coat, good morning. You are here. Um, what's going on? Mr. B. Coat, you are here for a charge of criminal mischief, felony case number 2022 CF 7490. The allegations are damages over $1,000. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Uh, a public defender is a lawyer. You can hire your own attorney. You can represent yourself. If you feel you want an attorney but can't afford one, I can appoint a public defender. What would you like? A public defender. I'll appoint the services of the public defender. Ma'am, your name, please? Zaleco Ortiz. And how are you related? Um, you're, the, you're the property owner? Yes. Are you in fear of him? No. Do you want contact with him? No. Okay. And you live here in Orlando, correct? Yes. And he lives in... Um, in North Carolina? No. He lives here. So you came to court. What would you like to tell us about this case, Ms. Ortiz? That I don't want any contact with him. I don't want him to come near me or contact me in any way. So this is not a domestic violence case, or um, I understand the allegations, but this is a property crime, but you still are alleged as the victim. So I'll go ahead and consider all that. Anything else, state or defense, to inquire of? No, Your Honor. Nothing from defense, Your Honor. So you do have a public defender. Um, where do you live? I actually stayed at the same address as her, but I'm no longer allowed there. So currently now I'm homeless. I'm, so where are you going next? I don't know. You're... Um, Booking information shows Raleigh, North Carolina. Do you intend to return home? Possibly, yes. What? Yes. Okay, and do you have a, would you be living at the Carolyn address there? Excuse me? The address that you were booked, um, that you put down for booking. What's your address in Raleigh? 3600 Carolyn Drive. Okay. Based on the lack of ties and the change in circumstances, I'm going to set his bond at $500. I'm sorry, it's a felony. I'm setting your bond at $1,000. You're to have no contact with the victim in this case. Um, that's for any purposes whatsoever. Does he still have belongings at your house? Yes. Okay, you cannot return to where she lives, works, or is known to frequent. I'll give you a one-time return as long as you're accompanied by a police officer to collect your belongings. I'm also ordering that you not possess any weapons. Weapons need to be surrendered within four hours of your release here or within four hours of returning to your home. Again, no contact. Thank you. Kevin Clayton is next. Thank you, Ms. Ortiz. Are you Kevin Clayton? Do you need a public defender, a lawyer, to help you with your case? Um, yes. Yeah. I thought I already um, signed one. You filled out an application, but I still ask everybody when they come to court. Do you want one, yes or no? Yes. Okay, I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. You were arrested for a charge of battery by strangulation as well as petty theft. You are entitled to a bond in um, these cases, and I do need to consider the facts of your case and your history. Defense counsel, do you want to be heard on count one bond? Um, Your Honor, he qualifies for pretrial release. I was going to ask for pretrial release in this case. 
Okay, I'm going to deny that request based on his long, his um, the number of convictions. I'm setting the and the facts. I'm setting the bond at two thousand dollars on count one, and I'll stay the bond at one hundred and fifty on count two. You're to have no contact with the victim. You're not to possess any weapons. Weapons need to be surrendered within four hours of your release from jail. You're not to possess, consume, or use any alcohol, illegal drugs, or controlled substances without a valid prescription. Um, does ask him if he needs, if uh, he's registered as transient, and so no, okay. no contact whatsoever, and no return to her residence. Uh, may I say something, Your Honor? No. You can, but you may want to talk to your attorney first because your hearing's not over, and your bond can be modified based on. I was gonna um, uh, um, ask you about the number of times that um, uh, she keeps. Um, uh, uh, not accusing, but of, uh, what is it called? Um, when you um, try to prosecute somebody and then you drop the case, it's been, and they come to the house and they say, you know, you, you, uh, you keep trying to uh, prosecute a case and then you drop it. You're like, you know, using the police as like, you know, a mediator, so to speak. Well, thank you for sharing that information. I'm not going to change my ruling, and your bond will be stayed at $2,000. Talk to your attorney for any legal guidance. Stephanie Ayala is next. Case number 2022-MM4326-AO. 2022 uh, Good morning. Are you Mr. Gilbert? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to ask that you answer out loud. Please raise your right hand. I'll have you sworn in. You solemnly swear that you'll the, um, the testimony you'll give today is the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Thank you. Are you um, Ms. Ayala? Yes. You can put your hand down. Do you need a public defender, a lawyer, to help you with your criminal charges? You'll need to answer out loud throughout our hearings. Um, you were arrested for a charge of battery dating violence. Um, Mr. Gilbert, do you live together? Yes. Are you in fear of your girlfriend? No. Okay, there was some delay. Do you want her to return home to your shared residence? No. Do you want contact with her? No. Miss Ayala, if you did not live with your boyfriend, where would you live? Or with who would you, who would you live with? My sisters. Where do your sisters live? She lives in Winter Park. Okay. And that's okay with them? Yes, I would have to get my stuff from the apartment. Okay. So, sir, I'm inclined to release her pretrial release, but with conditions of the court, but without having to post any money to leave jail. Do you have any objection to that? I would prefer that. Um, I don't feel like, I feel like she's going through a lot right now. Um, and it may have caused her to do things that she normally doesn't do. Um, and she just started a really good job. Okay. And I want her to really be able to get out as soon as possible and try. Today was her first day back. So she might not be able to start. Okay. State defense, do you have any questions? I mean, sorry, state, do you have any questions? No, Your Honor. Are you sure you're not going to need a public defender to help you after you're released from jail? Yes. Okay. I mean, I'm saying, no, I don't need... Any okay. Help. All right. I'll go ahead and find that she's wait. You. I'm going to put you on pre-trial release. You need to follow all rep rules, including reporting for your next court day. You're to have no contact with your boyfriend. You must maintain a separate residence. He can stay at the apartment in for on Forest City Road. You cannot go back there, with the one-time exception of with a police officer. You call the police department. They'll accompany you to collect your belongings. After that, you cannot return. Additionally, you're not allowed to have any weapons. Weapons need to be surrendered within four hours of your release. Sir, do you have any questions? No. Thank you, Ms. Ayala. Do you have any questions? That concludes the case. Colleen De Cesar is next.
Are you uh, Colleen D. Cesar? Yes, I am. You're here and you were arrested for battery, domestic violence. I do find probable cause. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. Um, is there any reason you need to have contact with Aaron Houlihan? No, Your Honor. Um, my only, may I speak? My only, I do have one question though. What about? Talk to your attorney first. Just family event. Okay. I'm sorry. Stating any objection to PTR? No, Your Honor. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Honor. Do you still want to ask me a question? No, Your Honor. All right, I'm going to place you on pretrial release. You're to have no contact with the victim. Um, you're also not allowed to have any weapons. If you have any weapons here in Orlando, they need to be surrendered within four hours of your release here. Alternatively, four hours of your release to your home state. Show the police department my court order that it needs to be surrendered to them. Thank you. Jamika Dixon is next. Take this? No, that's wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. What's your name? Jamika. Jamika Dixon. Miss Dixon, um, are there any, any adults that live at home with you? Um, I'm not at my house right now. Um, my mother, she says she's, um, I can come stay with hers. Well, who's going to stay? Where does Jamero live? Um, she stays with her grandmother. Um, All right. Here's what I'm doing on this case. You do have some criminal history and I do, it does cause concern. So I'm going to set your bond in this case at $250 plus pretrial release. Okay. Um, you're not to possess, use, or consume any illegal drugs or have any alcohol. Anything that you consume, any, any drugs that you consume must have a prescription with the exception of over-the-counter medication. Okay. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Not really. I don't think so. Okay. So you need to appear for all future court dates. You're to have no contact with the victim and you're not to possess any weapons. All weapons need to be surrendered to the police department within four hours of your release. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Your Honor, there are separate residences with the child? There are separate residences. Maintain separate residence. Thank you for clarifying. Army and Fort. State, how do you want me to proceed on this? The victim is not present. Um, there's a 19-year-old and a 17-year-old siblings. Do you live, um, do you need a public defender to help you with your case, Mr. Fort? You'll need to answer out loud. You were arrested for a charge of battery domestic violence with your sister. Um, I do find that there's probable cause. What do you want me to do? Just no contact, no hostile, no weapons? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Stay with us for no contact since we're not here at this time, which could be changed at a later time. All right. You must. Um, I'm going to place you on pretrial release. You don't have to post a monetary bond, but you have conditions, and you must appear for your next court date. No contact with your sister. You need to live separately from her. You cannot go back to where she lives. I'll allow one-time return as long as you're accompanied by a police officer to collect your belongings. After that, you can't go back. Any weapons need to be surrendered within four hours. Do you have any questions? No, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Sherman Ivey is next. Are you Mr. Ivey? No. Mr. Ivey, you were arrested for a charge of battery domestic violence. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Yes. That's a lawyer? Yes, ma'am. I'll appoint the services of the public defender. Here's what I'm going to impose. I'm going to place you on pretrial release. You have to comply with all of their conditions. They'll go over it with you and appear for your next court date. You're to have no contact with Asia. You must maintain a separate residence. She can stay where she's living. You cannot go back there with a one-time exception of with the police officer. And you're not allowed to have any weapons. Weapons need to be surrendered within four hours of your release from jail. Your attorney will give you uh, the phone, their office phone number. So call the attorney. That's the number. Mm -hmm. Did you? I hope you'll have a different attorney. Okay. Linda Loyola is next. <coughs> That's it. 
Ms. Loyola, do you need a public defender to help you with your criminal charges for battery dating violence? I'll go ahead and appoint the public defender. Um, I'm going to set, I find probable cause for this offense. I'm going to set your bond at $100. Can you afford that bond? Yes. State any objection to that? No, Your Honor. Your bond is $100. You're to have no contact with your boyfriend, the victim, um, Bishop Dresden. You must maintain a separate residence from him, and you're not allowed to have any weapons. Um, how far is Lee County from here? How many hours? Um, three, three hours. Within six hours of your release from jail, you need to uh, surrender any weapons to local law enforcement, whether it's here or there. Do you have any questions? All right. Your Honor, DCF was also called. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. DCF was also called. And, uh, and you need to, um, Department of Children and Families was, um, may do an investigation, and you need to comply with their investigation as well. Thank you, Ms. Loyola. Your attorney can answer any other questions. Corne Lorenzo Cornelius Madison. Mr. Madison, you were arrested um, for a crime of battery with victim Davis. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? That's a uh, lawyer. Yes, I'll take him. I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. Um, at this time, and I have to consider your criminal history, I'm going to set your bond at $750. You're to have no contact with victim Davis. You must maintain a separate residence from the victim. Um, you're not allowed to have any weapons. All weapons need to be surrendered to the police department within four hours of your release from jail, and you're not to possess, use, or consume any illegal drugs or any um, alcohol while this case is pending. Your attorney will give you any guidance. Thank you, Your Honor. Frank Sharan um, Chindera. Sir, it's my understanding you have an open charge for battery domestic violence, and you bonded out back on the 14th of April in case 2022-MM3247. Um, I find probable cause in case number 22MM4344 AO. You have a new, you were arrested for a new charge of violation of pretrial release conditions. Do you need a public defender on your new case? You'll need to answer out loud. I'll go ahead and appoint them. In that matter, I'm setting bond in the amount of $1,500. You're not to have any contact with the victim, uh, maintain separate residence, and you're not allowed to have any weapons. Weapons need to be surrendered within two hours of your release from jail, um, three hours of your release from jail. I'm revoking your bond and holding you at no bond in case 22MM3247AO. Screwed something. Is your name Bishop Dryden? Yes. Do you need a public defender to help you with your charge of battery? Yes. I'll go ahead and appoint them to represent you. I find probable cause for the offense of battery. Um, based on your criminal history, I'm setting your bond at $750. You're to have no contact with Linda, the victim of this case. You must maintain a separate residence and you're not allowed to have any weapons. If you do have any weapons, they need to be surrendered within four hours of your release from jail. You live in Miami, right? Actually, so four hours, if you're staying here in Orlando within four hours of your release, if you're staying in Miami within four hours of your return to Miami. Your Honor, this is the out-of-county warrant, correct? Oh, um, pardon me? This is an Osceola case, huh? Thank you. Any objection to me giving him bond? The victim was was seen earlier today as a defendant. I think they crossed. Your the state was just asked to say whatever the judge said in Osceola. Yeah, I why was it an over the county arrest? It's a over. It's a charging affidavit. It wasn't a warrant. Yeah, it's an it's an over the line address. Um, I I'm trying to figure out what is happening.
so this was a mutual aid, mm -hmm. but it happened in Osceola County. Okay. Do you want me to bring, I mean, I, it is a Ninth Circuit case. Do you have paperwork on it? You have paperwork on it, right? Yeah. That's fine, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. All right. Jorge Mautin Medina. Yep. And defense, you had no objection to me addressing that, right? No, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Mr. Medina, you're here for an out-of-county warrant for burglary and battery dating violence. You'll continue to be held at no bond. This is a warrant out of Osceola County Jail, Osceola County. Do you want a public defender to represent you while you're incarcerated here? Can I defend myself? You can defend yourself. Do you know what to do in case you're transported or not transported? I'm sorry? You're being held at no bond. Do you know what to do? Do you have any legal training? I could get an attorney, but... Okay, do you want to hire your own attorney? Can I get a... Do I need a... to hire an attorney, or should I get a... In any criminal case, you have the right to represent yourself. You can hire your own attorney. If you feel you can't afford an attorney, I can see if you qualify for the services of a public defender. Uh, I could hire my own attorney. All right, Toga, thank you. After that is Pedro Rivera. Mr. Rivera, you have a couple of things going on. You have, Kate, you're already in jail for a charge of petty theft. You also- Your Honor, I'm Roth. Ross, okay. R-O-T-H. What happened to, hold on one moment. He bonded on the out of county charges here. I thought he was no bond. Oh, on one, on one spot. Okay. Yep. Okay, thank you. Charles Roth, sorry for the confusion, Mr. Roth. Mr. Roth, do you need a public defender to help you um, in your case that's out of Volusia County, Florida? Yes, ma'am. I'll appoint a public defender. They'll assist you while, until you're transported to Volusia County. You're here for a warrant um, for a violation of probation. Do you want me to waive reading defense? Yes, Your Honor. You'll be held at no bond, but once you do get released, you have 24 hours or one business day to comply with all sex offender reporting requirements. Your attorney will speak with you. Robert Weber's next. Good morning, are you Mr. Weber? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Weber, you're here for a warrant out of Volusia County, Florida for attempted robbery as well as aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. You'll remain in the Orange County Jail at no bond until you're transported to that county. Do you want a public defender to help you while you're in the Orange County Jail? Um, I, should be, I should be transported soon though. So, I, mean, I can't tell you what you're gonna be transported. Yeah, um, so do you want a public defender, yes or yes, no? All right, I'll go ahead and appoint them for purposes of your stay in the Orange County Jail and, until you're transported. Thank you, Mr. Weber. Veronica Brown is next. Are you Ms. Brown? Yes. Ms. Brown, you're here for a vi two violations of probation in cases 2017 CF 1056 AO. The underlying offense is aggravated assault with the weapon. Um, you're also here for a violation of probation with another underlying offense of aggravated assault in case 2017 CF 11074AO. So on those violations of probation, you'll remain at no bond. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Yes. I'll appoint them in all three cases. I find probable cause in 22 MM 4336 for resisting officer without violence, and I'll stay that bond. Right. Brittany Carlson is next. Miss Carlson, good. Uh, Miss Carlson, you were arrested for a violation of probation in two different cases. Um, do you plan to hire your own attorney, represent yourself, or do you need a public defender? I have an attorney. You have your own attorney? Yes, Okay, you'll need to contact him or her because you're, you're here on no bond 
um, the underlying offenses that you were on probation for are petty theft with two priors. It's alleged that you committed a new act of petty theft with two priors um, on or about May 25th, and um, you didn't comply with your court cost. Uh, you didn't undergo your drug or alcohol evaluation as ordered. You failed to undergo a job placement program. You failed to uh, complete or start community service as court ordered, and you failed to complete impulse control class. So you remain at no bound. Reach out to your attorney. Thank you. Willie, Johns, um, Willie Johnson is next. Are you Mr. Johnson? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. You are arrest, um, you're here on two violations of probation. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Uh, yes, ma'am. Can I decide to get two violations? I, I work every day. Okay, so hold on a second. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Yes, ma'am. I'll appoint them to represent you. So in case number 19, CF 15434 and 15433, you're on probation and I believe it's for drug charges. It's alleged that you committed a new law violation of sale or delivery of cocaine, and that case number is 2022 CF 65970AO. So based on that, I'll continue to hold you at no bond. Your attorney will assist you. Can, uh, can, I, can I just say one thing? I understand the whole situation. No, I ain't gonna talk about it. I just wanna say, you know, I was stopped on the bike, and it was, they said I had some in the system as a warrant. But I work every day and I stay home with my wife and I was wondering like how I had some uh, like a sales of delivery charge pop in the system and I go to work and all my time and dates and everything I do is like no. Okay. Like, I don't even I'm come outside. You. Before you make any more statements, I do want to invite you, you don't need to say anything, but everything you say is being recorded. Follow the advice of your attorney. Yes, ma'am. After this, I have Marvin Kim. Mr. Kemp, do you need a public defender to help you with your criminal charges? Yes. I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender to assist you in all seven cases. Um, it's alleged that um, in case 21CF3709, you have a sale and delivery of heroin, which was alleged to have occurred on or about October 16th of 2020. I'm sorry, yeah, 2020. I'll strike, I'll stay the bond and the conditions, your bond is $12,500. The conditions are no drugs, alcohol or controlled substance without a prescription. You'll be subject to random drug screening once you're released through the pretrial release services, and you're not to return to the scene of the offense. Drug testing can begin anytime after July 30th. Um, in 2021, CF3505, you're here for sale and delivery of, of fentanyl, and that was alleged to have occurred on November 6th of 2020. Same conditions, and um, that bond will be um, stayed at $7,500. In 21 CF 3504, you're here for a charge of sale or delivery of fentanyl, which was alleged to have occurred on or about October 14th of 2020. In that case, I'll give you a lower bond, reducing it to 150 with the same conditions. Give me just a moment to check something. Ma'am, um, why is my bond 12500 for, for one of them and then it's 7500 for the rest of them? 150 on... Um, why is my bond so high? Yes. Oh, where's it? I'm just checking his probation date. So you have four other cases in which you were on probation. Um, that probation began on April 8th for, for uh, felony drug charges, and it's alleged um, based on these new law offenses, um, you're being held at no bond on all three, four of those cases. Thank you. Carl Morgan is next. Good morning. Are you Mr. Morgan? Good morning. Mr. Morgan, you're here in case 21 CF 8572. It's alleged that you violated your community control and you're being held at no bond. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Yes. I'll go ahead and appoint them. 
You're on probation or community control for aggravated stalking, two counts, and two counts of battery domestic violence. It's alleged that you tested positive for... Um, yes, yes. It's alleged that you tested positive, and all of your statements are being recorded and can be used against you. So follow the advice of your attorney. You had dirty tests back on um, June 7th and um, June 14th, which brings you here today. Thank you. Your attorney else is due. After that, I have Eric Christopher Shade. Good morning, Mr. Shade. You're here in case 21 CF 11984 AO. You're here for a violation of community control. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Yes, ma'am. I'll appoint them to assist you. Um, it's alleged that while on community control, you failed to um, be at your approved residence um, at a prescribed time. On, um, Yes, ma'am, I'm homeless. On June 15th, June 16th, June 17th, and June 18th. Um, and you'll remain at no bond. But I do need to advise you, once you do get a bond, you must comply with all reporting requirements within one business day. Your attorney can better assist you with that. Thank you. You're welcome. Tamara Williams is next. 2018 CF 3257. Good morning. Are you Miss Williams? Yes, ma'am. Miss Williams, you are here for um, a violation of probation. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'll go ahead and appoint them. You're on probation for two counts of burglary with an assault. Um, it's alleged that you're you failed to complete your drug, alcohol treatment, or an evaluation as court ordered and recommended, so you remain at no bond. I'll call the attorney. All right, state and PDs, are you ready for me to do the 33-day motions? Yes, Judge. I invest hours of my time every single day to make these videos possible. Unfortunately, the engagement on my videos has been very low recently. Most of the Bond Court viewers do not hit the like button on my videos. Please, 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 hit the like button on my videos. The YouTube algorithms heavily favor videos with more likes. If you do not like my videos then please tell me why in the comments and I can make changes to improve the channel. Thank you to all of you that do hit the like button, I am sorry that you have to hear this repetitive message, but without this message, less than 10% of viewers will like my videos. PD and state Honor, the first one is Rafael a no valid the objection to a withhold time served Lisa offer? Shore. That is what I conveyed, Your Honor. Just checking. Please. He's a private attorney? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor, he does, sorry. Madam Interpreter, can you hear me okay? Your Honor, can you hear me? This is the interpreter. I can. Can you sound check the uh, defendant's microphone? Certainly, Your Honor. And for the record, in case uh, you didn't hear me earlier, Rafael Barrera, State Certified Court Interpreter, previously sworn. Thank you. Yeah. Your Honor, the interpreter can confirm this defendant is able to hear through the headsets. 14 CT 4104 AO. Are you Jaren Olivas? Pardon? Excuse me? What is your name? Jaren, Jaren Yamil Isaguirres Oliva. Yari Yamil Isaguirres Oliva. You were arrested for a crime that you never resolved for no valid driver's license. Because it's been eight years, Mr. Wyshewski no longer reps represents you as your lawyer. If you would like to resolve your case today by saying guilty or no contest, I would withhold adjudication, release you today, and you would owe court costs in this case. Would you like to do that? Yes or no? Si, senor. Yes, ma'am. Can you read the Spanish language? Perdón. 
Excuse me? Can you read Spanish or do you only speak in Portuguese? Sí. No, español. No, Spanish. Okay, take a moment to read that paperwork. If you agree to it, sign it. Está bien, gracias. That's fine, thank you. Did you read it? If you did, write your name on it. If you need a lawyer when I ask you questions, please let me know. Do you plead guilty or admit committing a crime of no valid driver's license in the year 2014? Yes, I'm guilty. Do you understand that if you are not a United States citizen, you will be subject to deportation by entering a plea today? Sí. Yes. And do you also understand that if you were um, on probation back in 2014 by saying guilty today, your probation would be violated? It's two days, right? One plus one. No, no entendí, por favor. I don't understand. If you were on probation in the year 2014, your probation would be violated. Do you understand that? Sí. Yes. I'll accept your plea. I'll withhold education, sentence you to four days time served. You owe court cost um, plus any additional late fees. I will give you one year to pay that. Thank you, sir. You'll be released today from jail. Gracias. Thank you. Your Honor, if the interpreter could respectfully request the confirmation of this defendant's case number, please. Sure. It is 2014 CT 4101AO. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Does the court require any further assistance from the. Oh, yes. Jorge uh, Ortiz. Are you Mr. Um, Ortiz? Sí. Yes. You missed your court date in front of Judge Evelyn and Jewett. Your total for all of these charges are for driving with license suspended. I'm going to stay your bonds. Your bond total is $700. Once you bond out, make sure you come to your next court date. It will be written on your paperwork. PD's office, do you represent him? No, Your Honor, I was going to ask. Do you need a lawyer to help you with these charges so you don't get arrested again? Yes, sí, pero uh, yes. había resuelto este caso anteriormente, el 24 de agosto, junto con un caso de droga. Y That's parece que no lo quitaron del sistema. Before. Yo tengo la evidencia. I had resolved this case before. It was a drug case. And it looks like this, uh, and I have evidence, I guess this case was never removed from the system. Okay, I'm sorry to inform you that you might be confused. You have, been, you have three open cases, criminal charges for driving with license suspended or revoked with knowledge. I'm appointing a lawyer from the public defender's office to assist you and explain this further. You need to write down, your, you need to make sure you call their number when you're released from jail. She does not speak Spanish, but she circled the phone number. Thank you. PD appointed on all three. And that's case number um, 21CT1081. Thank you, Your Honor. Jorge Luis Maldonado Lopez. 22 CF 7475. Hey. Okay. Mr. Lopez, you're here for two criminal charges. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Hey. Yes. You were arrested um, for possession of methamphetamine 
I find probable cause, I'll stay that bond. You were also arrested for driving with license suspended. I'll reduce that bond to $100. Make sure you call your attorney. She circled the phone number. Thank you. Okay, yes, sir. Hey, thank you. Oscar Sayas Natal, 22 CF 7484AO. Mr. Are you Mr. Nat uh, Say Sayas Natal? Say. Yes. You were arrested for possession of methamphetamine. Do you need a lawyer to help you with your case? Say. Yes. I'll appoint them. I find probable cause for possession of met methamphetamine, and your bond is one thousand dollars. My apologies, Your Honor. Could you kindly confirm this last defendant's case number, please? Twenty-two CF seven four eight four A O. Thank you, Your Honor. Everybody, is that it for the interpreter? Thank you. I'll disconnect you. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good afternoon. You too. Are you Elizabeth? Your name, please. What's your name? Elizabeth Lowry. You're arrested in case number 2022 MM4327 for an offense of battery. Do you need a lawyer from the public defender's office to help you with your case? Is I didn't even know that they were doing it like that, ma'am. Do you need a public defender? Yes or yeah, no? Yeah, I guess so, whatever. Okay, I'll go, ahead and jail. I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender based on her history. I'm going to stay the bond at $500. No return to the Christian Service Center. Thank you. Your Honor, I would also ask for okay, no contact. Okay, so do I leave come? here, the courthouse? I'm at the jailhouse or what? Excuse me, what was your question? Do I get to leave the jailhouse or what? You can talk to your attorney about how to go about leaving. Thank you. No contact. Katina Lee's refusal. All right. Um, defense counsel, that was a time served offer. She has, I think, two, six, eight, like 10 days in. Mm -hmm. All right. Can we uh, reset for tomorrow, Your Honor? I'm going to try to go down and speak with her. Okay. Um, I'm, I'll go ahead and reset that one time. Thank you. Katina Lee, reset to tomorrow, PD appointed. Harry Richardson? Yes. Good, good morning. Are you Mr. Richardson? Mr. Richardson, you're here for a, because you missed your court date for a charge of trespass. I do, um, do you need a, do, is the PD's office on this case? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, adjudication time serve no return? Yes, Your Honor. I'm showing five, is that right? Seven days. Your Honor, Mr. Richardson would like to accept the state's offer, the state's offer and um, enter a plea of no contest. All right. And that's a withhold offer? It was an adjudication oh, offer. Okay. Sorry, I thought I misheard. Mr. Richardson, how do you plead to the crime of trespass? Guilty, no contest, or not guilty? Not guilty. Nope. Do you need a moment to speak with your lawyer and respectively your client defense counsel? No contest. <laughs> okay. Sir, are you pleading no contest to the charge of trespass? Yes or no? Are you pleading no contest? Yes. Did anybody force you to say no contest? Did anybody force you to say no contest? You hear? Uh, you hear her? Yes, I can hear her. Oh, okay. Let me have a I'll give you a moment to confer. Your Honor, so we're not going to accept it. He wants to fight it. All right. I'll go ahead and enter a plea of not guilty. I'll stay the bond at $250. Your next uh, court date okay. in Division 80. It's going to be July 25th at 9 o'clock in courtroom 9C. 
And your honesty would ask for a no return to 8700 South OBT. That was previous. There's previously trespass. So you understand, sir, that your next court date is going to be on July 25th, and that's about 25 days away. Do you understand July 25th. that? Okay. Now okay. I know. Are you going to be able to post that bond? Because I could release you today if you say no contest and resolve your case. Do, do you want to talk to your attorney about that? Can we move on to this case, Your Honor, while I talk? Sure. Okay. Sir, what's your name? Uh, Sir, you're here for several charges in case 21 CF 16061 and 2021 CF 11569. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? I thought I had a lawyer. Okay, you're, the lawyer, you do have one. Um, they'll stay on the case. I'm going to go ahead and stay all the bond conditions. So you're being held at no bond plus $500 on a driving with license suspended and um, $100 on a no mo motorcycle license endorsement. Um, your court date will be set in front of a circuit court judge. Thank you. Your Honor, you held him no bond on count one on the 21 CF? I stayed everything. He's entitled to a bond on count one as it is an F3. So state would ask that you set a bond, but then stay the no bond on the Ferris group here. Wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, that was on his um, FTAs. Okay. On the fleeing and attempting to elude, I'm sorry, I misspoke. You are entitled to a bond. I did review the affidavit for that. Any objection to me setting bond in the amount of $3,000? No, Your Honor. Okay, $3,000 bond on the fleeing and attempting to elude. Um, the reckless driving 500 and the no motorcycle license endorsement 100. Thank you, State. It also you, has the FTA warrant, Your Honor. Yeah, that's I'm keeping. I'm staying that at no bond. Do you need a public defender for your new charges? Do you want a public defender for your new charges? You have a private. Oh, he does already. I don't see anything. I think he has a private. Okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and readdress Richardson. Defense counsel, uh, do you believe your client has any medical conditions that prevent him from understanding what's going on right now? No, Your Honor. I did um, go into our system also and research. Does he to want to sure. plea? Yes, Your Honor. Sir, do you, how do you plead to the charge of, um, I, previously you said no contest to the charge of trespass. Is that what you would like to do today? No contest, Your Honor. And did you read and sign this form? Yes, Your Honor. And do you understand if you were on probation when you committed this crime, your probation would be violated? Yes, Your Honor. And um, you're not to go back to the Econo Lodge Hotel. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand we will not have a trial? Yes, Your Honor. I'll go ahead and adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to time served of seven days, release you on these charges, pay your court costs within one year. That concludes your case. Thank you, sir. Mark Crumpler is next. Mr. Crumpler, good morning. You're here in case 21 CF 7281AO. You missed your court dates for possession of methamphetamine. You're now being held at no bond. Thank you, sir. Love it is next. State, I'm going to ask for your, in, in defense, I'll ask for your input on bond on this one. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Are you Miss Lovett? Yes, ma'am. You're here for case number 2022-CF7460AO. The police officers have added on a harassing a witness, victim, or informant charge. I do find probable cause. State, do you want to be heard on monetary bond? Hey, yes, Your Honor. As it's currently charged, it's currently charged as an F2. However, arguably... Uh, she is alleged to be harassing a witness in a life offense as the underlying charge. I saw that. Isn't it, I believe it was an attempted murder was the underlying. So do you want bond at, she, she's, she also has the VOP that she's no bond. She has the VOP at no bond. However, I would just ask that you take into account that we likely will file this as a life offense. So what kind, what? Since she's held at no bond and it's an F2, state would ask for 15,000. Defend, uh, do you need a public defender to help you with this new, this other charge? Yes, ma'am. I'll appoint them to help you. What says the defense? Your Honor, um, defense has no objection to that bond. I'm sorry, what did you say? No, I don't have any objection to the bond. Yeah. I'm setting the bond at $15,000. You're to have no contact with any of the victims, witnesses, or alleged or co-defendants, and you're also not allowed to have any weapons. Thank you. Kareem Price is next.
Case number 2022-CF-7466. Are you, pri uh, is your last name Price? Yes, ma'am. You're here for an add-on charge of criminal mischief. Do you need a public defender to help you with this? A lawyer? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right, I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. I find probable cause. Modify the bond to $150. Let me go ahead and switch to the arraignment docket. What about? You're not here for those charges. Now, your first arraignment it's I have is Andy. He's uh, on the um, Because he's pro se, reset to tomorrow. He's on restricted movement. Oh, he is? Okay, I'm going to appoint the services of the public defender since he's on restriction. Um, defense counsel Speedy's already been wa waived. Shall I enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. Um, Division 81, please. On pre-trial July 22nd at 9 o'clock in Portland 60. Thank you. The next person is Giovanni Elander Perkins, 21 MM 7322. Good morning, Mr. Perkins. You're here for carrying a concealed weapon. You have a public defender counsel. How are we handling his case? Um, Your Honor, the offer was an adjudication of guilt, credit time served, and no return to Disney Springs. Mr. Perkins would like to accept and enter a plea of no contest. Sir, if you agree to the terms on that paper and you've talked enough with your attorney, sign it. How do you plead to the charge of carrying a concealed weapon? Guilty, no contest, or not guilty? No contest. Has anybody forced you to say no contest? Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, medicine, or do you have any health conditions that's affecting your ability to understand what's going on right now? Do you understand that if you're not a United States citizen, you will be subject to deportation by entering a plea today? And if you were on probation at the time you committed this crime by pleading, your probation would be violated. Do you understand that? You'll need to answer out loud. So I saw you sign this in open court. I'm adjudicating you guilty, sentencing you to time served, releasing you in these charges. No return to Disney Springs. Pay your court costs and attorney's fees within one year. Thank you. We'll get some fingerprints and you'll be processed on just this case. 2022-MM417480, cross-reference 22CF5677. Good morning. What's your name? Pierre, Pierre Christopher. Mr. Christopher, you're here for a charge of trespass. You have 43 days time served and you have a lawyer. Defense counsel, is he pleading guilty, no contest or not guilty? Um, I did speak to the victim yesterday um, about the offer of an adjudication of credit time served, no return and no contact. And the victim was okay with that. I did tell him that he could come. However, he said he did not want to okay. um, due to work. Um, so the offer will be an adjudication, credit time served, no return, no contact. No return, no contact. If you would like to accept that, I would release you on these charges today. Yes, you were arrested for burglary, but they reduced it down to a misdemeanor. Do you have the case number, Your Honor? 22MM 4174AO. Mr. Pierre, how do you plead to the crime of trespass, a misdemeanor of the second degree? Guilty, no contest, or not guilty? Guilty. Has anybody forced you to say guilty? No, ma'am. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, medicine, or do you have any health conditions that's affecting your ability to understand what's going on? No, ma'am. I did see you sign this. Did you read it before you signed it? I understand. Do you understand that if you were on probation when you committed this crime by playing today, your probation would be violated? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that if you're not a United States citizen, you will be subject to deportation by entering a plea today? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll go ahead and accept your plea of guilty to this charge. You're being adjudicated guilty, sentenced to time served in the amount of 43 days, and you owe court costs within one year. Um, you're also not allowed to go to the scene of the crime, and you're also not to have any contact with the victim. That concludes your case. Do you have any questions? Mm, I, may I talk to her real quick? Your case is over. Do you want to...
Welcome. All right, what's your name, sir? My name is Marcus Lee Cassida, the second minister. Your Honor. Your last name is spelled C-A-S-I-D-A? -S yes, ma'am, that is correct, Your Honor. Sir, um, I'm going to. Do you want a public defender to help you with your new charges for um, fraudulent impersonation or um, intentionally having possession of uh, unlawful IDs and loitering and prowling? Yes, no. yeah. yes ma'am. I, I had signed a paper earlier. I thought one okay. would be with no, you. No, I still have to ask you these questions. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sometimes people change their mind. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. I'm going to stay those bonds. So your bonds in those cases are 500 plus 100 equals $600. You're not to return to that apartment complex. But, sir, you also are already out ROR with pending cases, and you have a public defender in 2022 CF 5773AO and 20... 22 CF 577 AO and 2022 CF 3643 AO. One of the, some of the conditions of your release and bond are that you're not supposed to commit any law offenses. So I am revoking your release now and holding you at no bond. Excuse me, ma'am. Your Honor. Listen, just a moment. You may not want to say anything else because those are the conditions. Thank you. That'll conclude your business here. Um, Pierre Henry's next. Okay. Any objection to a time served offer on this next trespass? No, Your Honor. State conveyed an adjudication credit time served. Pierre Henry? Behavior. All right. Uh, I'll find that as a waiver. I'll appoint the public defender and stay the bond at 500. Miguel Molina. Are you Mr. Molina? Yes. Good afternoon, sir. You're here for a charge of trespass, the Circle K. If you would like to resolve your case today, the offer is a adjudication time served offer. I would release you today, or you can. I would reduce your bond to one hundred dollars. Do you want to? Do you need want to represent yourself, or do you want a public defender for today? Um, I thought I thought I was getting time served. I, it's a time served offer. Do you want an attorney to formally represent you? There is a fifty dollars charge for that. No. How do you plead to the charge of trespass on app on property after warning? Guilty, no contest, or not guilty? No contest. Do you understand what no contest means? Yes. Did anybody force you to say no contest? And what's the highest grade that you finished in school? College. Did you read that paper in front of you? Yes. Did you sign it, acknowledging you agree to the terms? If not, I'll give you a moment. Okay. We'll sign it. Mr. Molina, do you understand that if, if you were on probation for any past crimes by pleading today, your probation would be violated? Yeah. Do you understand that if you're not a United States citizen, you will be subject to deportation by entering a plea today? Yeah. All right. I'll go ahead and accept your plea of no contest. Um, I will adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to time served to be released today, and you're to have no, no return to that circle, K. That concludes your case. You'll be released. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. After you too. Michael O'Neill is next. John Sanders is next. Uh, reset to um, within one day of, of outside medical of his return. I'll temporarily and I'll appoint the public defender. You said one day? Yes. Day of the bond is um, tw within 24 hours of his come back from medical. Um, I'll stay the bond in the alternative. John Sawyer. Theodore Wallace. Mr. Wallace, good morning. You're here for a charge of trespass, failure to leave. Um, state any objection to a time served offer. Your Honor, state committed an adjudication credit time served, no return. Okay, it's a time served offer and the alternative, your bond would be $500. Do you want to represent yourself or do you want a public defender today? It's a time served offer if you don't understand what's... No, no I'm taking time served offer. All right, sir, do you want an attorney? There is a $50 application fee. No, oh, ma'am. What's the highest grade that you finished in school, Mr. Wallace? Well, Can you, um, any, are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol or medicine that's affecting your ability to understand what's going on right now? 
Were you able to read and understand the plea form? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and sign it if you agree to the terms. And you entered a plea of no contest, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Has anybody forced you to say no contest? No, ma'am. And do you understand if you were on probation at the time you committed this offense by playing today, your probation would be violated? No, do you understand that if you're not a United States citizen, you will be subject to deportation by entering a plea? No, All right, at this time, I'll adjudicate you guilty. I'm ordering that you not return. I'm sentencing you to credit time served, and you have one year to pay those court costs. Good luck to you. You're welcome. And after that, I have um, Jorge Batista Velez. Did he bond? Inmate number 2201493030. What was the name? Um, Batista Velez. What was that inmate number again, Your Honor? 22 He mm -hmm. bonded. Okay, thank you. Are you Brittany Russell? Yes. Miss Russell, do you know if you have a public defender? Yes, I do. You're here for a charge of driving with license suspended with knowledge. You're being held at no bond. It is a time served offer. I believe she has at least 13 days in. She would like to accept. 15. Oh, 15. She would like to accept the offer and enter plea of no contest. Miss Russell, how do you plead to the charge of driving with license suspended? Guilty, no contest, or not guilty? No contest. And do you understand what no contest means? You'll need to answer out loud, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Just keep in mind. I can't, I have to hear yes, what you're yes. saying instead of see what you're saying. Did you read that paper, the plea form? Yes. Go ahead and sign it if you agree to the terms. Yeah. Okay. Ms. Russell, something that is not on this form is you are being adjudicated at the time of sentencing in just a few moments. If you commit a future act of driving with license suspended, do you understand you can be charged with a felony? Yes. Do you also understand you can um, face another 10-day jail sentence or be de designated a habitual traffic offender? Yes. If you were on probation at the time you committed this crime by entering a plea today, your terms of probation would be violated. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. And if you're not a United States citizen, you'll be subject to deportation. Do you understand that as well? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Russell, at this time, I'll go ahead and adjudicate you guilty based on your plea, sentence you to time served, release you on these charges, and give you one year to pay your court costs, waiving any late fees. Thank you. Okay. Just a second. Patricia Volopin, did she bond? Ali Syed Abdul. Behavior. I'll appoint the services of the public defender. I find probable cause in 2022 CF 7481AO. This came in as no bond um, on both counts. Defense and state, I believe he is entitled to a bond. What says the state? He is, Your Honor. He is entitled to a bond. Um, Any recommendations? Given that he was recently released from DOC for 2020 of a armed burglary, um, say what I say, you take that into account um, and set the F. We um, at ten grand and to treat this criminal mischief as a subsidiary. All right. And what says defense? Your Honor, I would just ask that you consider the fact that um, although he may have a criminal history, he has no failures to appear for court. So I just ask that you consider that when setting the bond. Right. And this was a refusal or behavior. So at this time, I have to consider that as well. I'm going to set his bond at seven thousand dollars on count one, one hundred dollars on count two. No contact. No return. I ended up setting 7,000, not today. Yes. Armstrong, is that your last name? Mr. Armstrong, do you need a public defender to help you with your criminal charges? In case number 2021 CF 13302, you were arrested for grand theft third degree. Probable cause has been found. I'll stay the bond at $1,000 and stay the conditions. You're to have no contact with any co-defendants, victims, or witnesses, not return to the scene of the offense, and not possess any weapon. 
In case number 2022 CF 4056 AO, probable cause has already been found for two counts of burglary conveyance, two counts of grand theft motor vehicle, and two counts of criminal mischief. Defense, do you want to be heard? And I would ask that you consider treating um, the second count of burglary and the second count of grand theft um, as a subsidiary bond. I'll do some modifications. Um, on count one, I'll stay at the bond at $5,000. Count two, modify to one fifty. dollars Count three, modify to one fifty. dollars Count four, modify to one fifty. dollars Stay the bonds on counts five and six. You're to have no contact with any witnesses or any victims. Um, and you're not to return to the scene of the offenses. Thank you, Mr. Armstrong. That concludes your, your first appearance. Brand is the, la is the last name I'm calling. Your name? Wesley Brand. Mr. Brand, good morning. Do you need a public defender? Do you plan to represent yourself or hire your own attorney? Well, I'm going to be with the public defender this morning. I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. I do find that there's probable cause in case 22 CF 7491A0 for offenses of trafficking in fentanyl greater than 28 grams, sale and delivery of fentanyl, and count three, unlawful use of a two-way communication device. I'll stay your bond at $400,000 on count two and three, modify to $150 apiece. So your total bond is $400,300. After that is Jason Brown. Anna, what was the bond amount on count one? I missed it. I'm sorry. 400. Oh, okay. Thank you. And then I did subsidiaries on the remaining two at 150 apiece. That was 400K. Jason Brown, are you Mr. Brown? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Brown, you're here in case number 2019, CF154. 15455. You missed your court date for delivery of cocaine. Um, your bond will be stayed at no bond. Do you already have a lawyer? No, ma'am. Okay. I was informed that you do have a lawyer, so they'll stay on your case. Thank you, Mr. Brown. The co uh, N A C O E Brown is next. Good, good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me what your name is? Nicole Brown. You're here in felony case 2022 CF 7469 for charges of robbery with a threat of a weapon and grand theft. Do you need a public defender to help you with your charges? Yeah. I'll go ahead and appoint them. State, do you want to be heard? Yes, Your Honor. would ask that you stay at no bond on count one instead of reasonable bond on count two. Um, take into account he did have a robbery of a bank back in Maryland. In 2002, I believe he was released in 2020. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he didn't actually have the weapon, but made threats. So is it an F1, not a PBL, since it wasn't uh, garnished? When I looked at the statute, I wasn't quite sure, Your Honor. I thought that it was. Okay. Um, however, that's within your discretion to set a bond, even if... What says defense? Your Honor, I believe he's entitled to a bond. There was no weapon. Um, I think that's why it's, it's charged as robbery with a threat of a weapon. So I'd ask that you set a bond on both counts. All right. I am considering um, your out-of-state history um, and your lack of ties to the community. Correct, um, based on what I'm reading with your history, on count one, I'm gonna set your bond at $250,000. On count two, I'm setting your bond at $150. So $250,150, no return and not to possess any weapons. Thank you, that concludes your hearing. Jabarius Bush is next. If you should call the top number, the circle. Mm -hmm. If I could. call the attorney. Mm -hmm. What's your name, sir? Jabarius Bush. Mr. Bush, you're here. Uh, do you need for criminal charges, including trafficking and cannabis? I'll go over those in a moment. Do you need a public defender to help you with your case? Yes, ma'am. I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. I find probable cause for trafficking and can cannabis greater than 25 grams with the weapon. I'm going to set that bond at $50,000. Count two, possession of a short barrel gun or rifle, $150. 
Um, grand theft, third degree of a firearm, $150. And possession of hydrocodone, $150. So your new bond total is $50,450. You're not to possess any weapons or any illegal drugs or any drug paraphernalia. Thank you, Mr. Bush. Thank you, ma'am. Brandon Karate is next. Mr. Karate, do you need a public defender to help you with your criminal charges? Yes. I'll go ahead and appoint them. I find probable cause for aggravated assault with a firearm. You are entitled to a bond. Based on these facts, here are the conditions of your bond. I'm setting your bond in the amount of $4,500. You're to have no contact with, um, with the victim or any witnesses. If you must contact the leasing office, it must be in writing only. That's the only exception you have. Understood. And you're not allowed to have any weapons. All weapons, firearms, and ammunition need to be surrendered to the police department within three hours of your release from jail. Absolutely. Clark is next. Matthew Clark. Mr. Clark, you have an add-on charge for unlawful use of a two-way communication device and conspiracy to sell or deliver cocaine. Um, I'm sorry, a controlled substance. Not cocaine, just a controlled substance. I'm going to modify these bonds, so each bond will be $150 a piece, and I'll appoint the public defender. Is that what you'd like? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you, Mr. Clark. After that, I have Angel Claudio Canales. All right. I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. I do find probable cause for meth. Stay the bond. Count two, tampering, 150 Possession of cocaine, 150. New bond total is 1,300. Waive his appearance. Is that correct, Defense Counsel? Yes, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Are you Mr. Corey? Yes. Mr. Corey, are you going to need a public defender to help you with your criminal charges? At this time, yes. What? At this time, yes. All right, I'll go ahead and appoint the services of the public defender. State and defense, I'm going to need you to approach. This case came in as a capious. I don't have any information to yeah. set a bond. So I will need a factual basis. I'll give you a moment when you're ready. You can both approach. All I have is the victim name and the dates. Do you have to have it in your system? Is he on probation in orange? Yes, Your Honor. Can I have that case number correction? One moment. Do you have it? Yes, it was, it's already been filed, Your Honor, so it is a case package. May I approach? Yes. It's 57 pages, so I wasn't going to... Just give me a brief factual basis and a suggestion on the bond amount. In the meantime, corrections, if you can look up that um, VOP case number so I can on-view it. Okay. Okay, what's the brief? I understand the victim, it, the allegations are November 9th. Let me go ahead and go, go media mute. I invest hours of my time every single day to make these videos possible. Unfortunately the engagement on my videos has been very low recently. Most of the Bond Court viewers do not hit the like button on my videos. Please, 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 hit the like button on my videos. The YouTube algorithms heavily favor videos with more likes. If you do not like my videos then please tell me why in the comments and I can make changes to improve the channel. Thank you to all of you that do hit the like button, I am sorry that you have to hear this repetitive message, but without this message, less than 10% of viewers will like my videos. Alright, it is uh, Wednesday, June 29th, 2022. We're here for initial appearances in Osceola County, Florida. I'm Judge Madrigal. I'll be presiding today. Let's go ahead and get appearances. Let's start with the state. Here's your honor. Andrew Brady on behalf of the state. Okay. Jonathan Marino on behalf of the PTR. Right, Mr. Mills, go ahead and get closer to that mic. It won't bite you. They disinfect it. Don't worry. Okay. I was worried. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. They disinfect it. <laughs> um, and Mr. Bray, uh, I appreciate you standing, but you don't have to. It's better for the mic until they can hear you. You can remain seated. Understood, Your Honor. All right. So, sir, your name and date of birth, please. Okay. Jose Golden, September 3rd, 1984. All right, Mr. Golden. You are here on a warrant on case 22 CF 1747. Um, so another judge has already found probable cause for the charge of trafficking illegal drugs. 
methyltryptamine. Tripiltamine? Um, Mr. Mills? Your Honor, we're asking the court to consider reducing the bond to $5,000. I spoke with ASA Lauren Day, and she did not object to that. Um, the reason for that is Mr. Godin Ponce was released on bond uh, last year for a trafficking and meth charge. My understanding is that substance tested positive for the substance that's the basis of this warrant. An information's already been filed in his other case that's already pending um, before Judge Karsten. Um, and so he's, he's actually bonded out now. This will be the third time for the same search of his residence. With different offenses. Um, yes, sir, but um, two trafficking. And my understanding is, from what I've been told, is it's the same substance he already bonded out for, just tested different through FDLE than it did previously in their field test. Okay. Um, There's an amended information in his pending case that's before Judge Karsten that alleges a trafficking offense. It's the same. Um, I'm going to ask the same question to the state that I asked the state yesterday, and I know it wasn't. Either of you were here. But due to this, let's talk about separation of powers a little bit. Who sets bond, Miss Day or Judge Madrigal? Uh, judge, the state obviously doesn't. The uh, question is, who sets bond, the state or the judge? Is wrong with the state All right, so I don't care what Miss Day said. Um, Judge Calderon found PC. He set bond at fifty thousand. I'm not going to touch his bond. I understand there might be a motion that's to be filed with the, um, the division judge on circumstances. I would suspect the state can't proceed on two cases for the same substance. That's right, Judge. All right. So um, I'm going to keep it at Judge Calderon's warrant. Um, he added the conditions of uh, no possession of drugs or medication without a valid prescription, no weapons, firearms, or ammunition. So we'll stay the bond. Your Honor, will you be adding PTR with that? Uh, no. Okay. I, I have that he doesn't qualify for PTO. Uh, we uh, sent an amended one. Oh, you did send an amended yeah. one? Yeah. Okay, I had that one second, so I thought you amended it to the no. you know, on top. Yeah. All right, well, let me reconsider here. You object to 5,000 with PTR, Mr. O'Brien? I don't, Your Honor. All right, I'll give him 5,000 with PTR. Thank you, Your Honor. Same conditions. Sorry, I thought the order was different. Yeah. All right. All right. All worked out. All right. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good thank day. You, All right. Okay, let's go to our Spanish uh, language ones. Let me get the interpreter on the line. I have Mr. Ender uh, Claudio Lopez up top because I just moved that one to the top. Good afternoon, Your Honor. This is Rafael Barrera, State Certified Court Interpreter. I have been previously sworn. All right. First case we got. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Your Honor. How about yourself? I can't complain. First case we have is 22 CF 1876. And then it's a companion 22 CF 1877, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. All right, sir, your name and date of birth, please. Caballero, su nombre y su fecha de nacimiento, por favor. Despacito, señor. Despacito, repita su nombre. I'm sorry, Your Honor, the interpreter is still not able to understand the defendant. Ender Junior Claudio Lopez. Thank you, Your Honor. Ender Junior Claudio Lopez. Ender Junior Claudio Lopez. In, in his spare time, he's a bad bunny impersonator. That, cl that clears it up, Your Honor. Yeah. Thank you. You can say that. It was a joke. Es un chiste que en su tiempo libre usted... I speak English too. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sir, I'm going to appoint Mr. Lopez and his office to represent you on this matter. Caballero, voy a designar al licenciado Lopez y la oficina de él para que lo represente en este asunto. You're here on two different cases. Usted se encuentra aquí en dos casos diferentes. On the first case, you're charged with organized uh, or dealing in traffic or stolen property. En el primer, el, el primer cargo lo acusan de tramitar en propiedad robada eh, de manera organizada. In the second case, you have two counts, uh, burglary to an unoccupied dwelling. 
En el segundo cargo, tiene dos cargos, allanamiento a una vivienda ocupada. And grand theft auto. Y hurto mayor de vehículo. Uh, I'm going to find probable cause on both cases for all three counts. Voy a determinar que existen indicios razonables para todos los cargos. On the first case, I'll set your bond at 5,000. En el primer caso, programo su fianza en 5,000. On the second case, uh, count one, 5,000. En el segundo caso, el programa, se programa la fianza del primer cargo, 5,000. Second count, 2,500. En el segundo cargo, 2,500. So your total monetary bond for the three counts is 12,500. Entonces, el total para los tres casos o los tres cargos son 12,500 dólares. I order you not to return to the scene. Se le ordena que no regrese al lugar de los acontecimientos. And no contact with the victims. Y no se le permite tener trato con la víctima. Right. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Right. Uh, this is Willie Ariza, and this is 22MM1437. Thank you, Your Honor. Right, sir, your name and date of birth? Caballero, su nombre y su fecha de nacimiento, despacito y en voz alta, por favor. Willie Ariza, 901 el 86. Willie Arisa, 901 of 86. All right. Sir, I'm going to appoint Mr. Lopez and his office to represent you on this matter. Señor, voy a designar al licenciado López y el bufete de él para que los representen en este asunto. You're here on two counts. Usted se encuentra aquí dos cargos. First one is battery. The second one is false ID to a law enforcement officer. El primer cargo es agresión. El segundo cargo es presentar la identificación falsa a un agente de orden público. I'll find probable cause on both charges. Determino que existen indicios razonables en ambos cargos. Mr. Marino, any history? Agente Marino, tiene antecedente penal. Yes, Your Honor. He has history in 2007 um, for driving without a valid driver's license, violation of injunction, and a battery. Uh, no prior, uh, no history after that. En el 2007, tiene un cargo de no tener licencia válida, de incumplir una orden de alejamiento y un cargo de agresión. No tiene antecedente penal antes de esa fecha. Okay, I'll release him direct PTR. Lo voy a liberar bajo las condiciones eh, directas de libertad provisional. I'll do no contact with the victim. No se le permitiría trato con la víctima. No weapons. Y no puede portar armas. Thank you, sir. Gracias, caballero. Okay, thank you. Um, Jose Silva Guerrero. Sir, your name and date of birth, please. Caballero, su nombre y su fecha de nacimiento, por favor. José Ángel Silva Guerrero, diciembre 26 del 84. José Ángel Silva Guerrero, 26 of December, 84. All right, Mr. Guerrero, I'm going to appoint Mr. López and his office to represent you on this matter. Señor Guerrero, voy a designar el licenciado López y el bufete de él para que lo representen a usted en este asunto. You're here on leaving the scene of an accident with damage to property. Usted está aquí por el cargo de fugarse de la escena de un accidente con daños a propiedad. Finders probable cause for that charge. Determino que existe indicio razonable para ese cargo. He doesn't qualify for PTR. No reúne requisitos para la libertad provisional. No, Your Honor, his visa expires in August. No, su señoría, la visa de él se vence en agosto. Okay. Uh, any history? Tiene antecedente penal. We were unable to verify his history because of his uh, immigration. No podemos verificar el antecedente penal debido a su situación inmigratoria. Oh, ROR. Le voy a dar libertad bajo palabra. Thank you. Yes. Your Honor, could the interpreter kindly request a confirmation of this last defense case number, please? Sure, 22CT2133. 2133, Your Honor? Yes, sir. Thank you. And then I'm going to bring up um, Samuel Rivera Berrios next. My understanding is that some of the family needs an interpreter. Yes, Your Honor. I believe the mother needs the interpreter. Okay. So this is two cases, 22 CF 1875 and 22 MM 1443. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. 
And just to clarify, Your Honor, I'm only going to be interpreting uh, for the mother, correct? My, that's my understanding, yes, sir. Thank you, Judge. Um, do we have headphones? Maybe we can. Can you connect to the headphones at the podium here? Uh, you're in five delta, correct? Correct. Yes, Your Honor. Give me just a second, and I can do that. Well, we got to find them first. So. <laughs> we found them. All right, Your Honor. I'm connected to the headphones. Does the individual have them on? Not quite yet. Okay. All right. She's got them on now. I'm going to go ahead and confirm, Judge. Okay. Your Honor. Oh. Um, I provided I provided you with a uh, Baker Act paper uh, from the director of uh, the mental health unit within the jail. Um, he did come in with the Baker Act, and she is requesting, um, if possible, um, an ROR um, to get him the uh, mental health assistance that he needs. Okay. Um, Stir your name and your date of birth first, please. Samuel Ver Samuel Ver Burials, 120598. All right, sir. I'm going to appoint Mr. Lopez in his office. So that's that guy sitting next to you and his officer representing you on this case, okay? Thank you. All right, you're here on two cases. The first one is uh, three counts. One, resisting an officer with violence. Second uh, and third count are the same. Our battery on a law enforcement officer, a firefighter or intake officer. The second case has two counts. It's simple battery. Or, I'm sorry, domestic violence battery. Um, I'm going to find probable cause for all those charges. Let's talk about conditions of release. Hi. Hello, Your Honor. Hi. Who are you all? I'm Kelvin Rivera. I'm his brother. Okay. Jamari, his mom. Are you the other karate guy? <laughs> Not necessarily, Your Honor. Okay. All right. um, if you guys can raise your right hands to be sworn, please. If you solemnly swore a firm testimony you're about to give in this matter to be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. So help you God, Your Honor. All right. Um, so it's a little bit of a unique situation. Um, so you're one of the victims. Yes, sir. All right. Do you wish to have contact? Absolutely. And you not scared of them? Absolutely not. Okay. All right. Um, Ma'am, I'm going to turn over to the state to ask you all some questions if they choose to. And then I may have some follow-up questions as well after Mr. Lopez okay. asks questions. So, Mr. Abreu? Sure. sure. Um, if you do, if you don't, it's fine. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, uh, do you, are you familiar with your brother's mental state? Yes. Sir. Great. Could you explain to the best of your knowledge what his mental state is? And, and this is a bit awkward, so you're going to have to face me okay. um, because the mic is that little circle there. So um, face me, but he's going to ask you. It's a little weird. And let me just be clear. At, you don't have to hey, counsel, doctor. if you could kindly approach your microphone as well. I'm having some difficulty oh. hearing you. Sure. And... Let me just be clear, not asking you to give a doctor's opinion, just what, to the best of your knowledge, you, you think your, your brother's mental state is. I know he's schizophrenic. He has uh, some depressive type of behaviors. He, he's autistic. Um, he also has some bipolar disorder. Um, I OCD. believe he's mental, he has slightly mental uh, uh, retardation, and uh, that's as far as I know. How long ha has this been his entire life? Um, with the schizophrenia, about four years ago. Okay. Started about four. The diagnosis was four. Years. Yes. Okay. And has he received treatment for this in the past? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay. Um, who do you know where he's getting his treatment currently? Uh, he was at Osceola. As of right now. Um, and by Osceola, you mean Osceola Regional? Yes, sir. I have nothing further. Okay. So Lopez? Nothing further, Your Honor. Okay. Um, so are you requesting an ROR so he can be Baker Acted? Is that? No, he's already Baker Acted, that order that I provided you. Um, they're just requesting that he be released ROR so that he can be transferred directly to Park Place. Okay. So I'm going to find probable cause. Um, I'm going to uh, 
um, released him ROR on all five. If, Sorry. If I may, Your Honor, um, defense would be requesting a release to Osceola Regional if possible. He does have a behavioral specialist there. Uh, the defense does have her contact information. We can provide it if he just would be uh, taken to Osceola instead of Park Place so that he can uh, properly get the attention and the help that he needs that since they are familiar with him at Osceola Regional. I have no issue with that. Is that, is that okay? Um, at this time, Your Honor, I would have to speak with our director because I'm not sure if they have uh, leeway to pick which um, hospital he goes to. So why don't we say we'll release him to Osceola uh, Regional if, if they accept if accepted or if possible or okay. in, the if, in the alternative park place. Okay. 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 Um, so I'm going to ROR him on those. I'm going to add um, some conditions to the release. Um, I'm just going to do no weapons and no, um, no alcohol, drugs, or other controlled substance without a prescription. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. And I think that's the last Spanish language. Thank you, guys, for coming. Thank you. Thank you for wearing a suit. Yeah. yeah. You look sharp. You look sharp. Yeah. Um, any other Spanish language? No, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. May the interpreter be excused? I mean, does anybody Thanks. ever say no? Uh, you'd be surprised, Judge, but that's for that's that's a story for another time. <laughs> you are excused from here. Thank you, Your Honor, and thanks again for that assistance with the Bad Bunny impersonator. I oh, appreciate yeah, it. No, no problem. <laughs> Have a good week. All right, Alrighty, bye bye. But all right, uh, the next one. Let's go to warrants. I have Jonathan Irizarry. All right, sir, your name and date of birth, please. First name, Jonathan Irizarry, date of birth, 1203-1982. All right, Mr. Irizarry, you are here on a violation of probation. Another judge has found probable cause. Set your bond at zero, so I'll stay that bond. I am going to appoint uh, Mr. Lopez and his office to assist you on this, okay? Uh, so tell your lawyer first, and then tell me. Do you know his next court date? It is July 11th at 8.45 a.m. Courtroom 5F with Judge Tony Lopez. Okay. Thank you. 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 All right, sir, I'm going to appoint Mr. Lopez and his office to represent you. You're here on a bench warrant for failing to appear for arraignment. You guys, can you take it outside? Thank you. Uh, failing to appear in arraignment, so judge found probable cause. She set your bond at 5000 so we'll stay that bond. All right. Uh, the next one is the, I think the other one you had mentioned, Emmett... Uh, Joseph Ortner. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. I think this is the other competency one. Yes. Yes. All right, sir, your name and date of birth, please. Emmett Joseph Ortner, 1104-1969. All right. You are here on three different bench warrants for failing to appear in front of uh, Judge Arendis. On the first two, she set zero bonds. On the third, she set bond at two thousand nine ninety nine. Mister Lopez. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, there were three bank warrants for failure to appear. However, Mister um, Mister Ortner did not uh, willfully fail to appear. He was actually at State Hospital at the time of these failure to appears. Uh, however, I would be requesting ROR in this case, Mister. Uh, Ortner has been found incompetent to proceed. He was a judge incompetent by Judge. Uh, 
Judge Arendis on November 6 of 2020 and uh, incompetence goes with the defendant, not with the case. So he has been incompetent. The state has no basis as to challenge his incompetency. No court has found him competent to proceed at this time. And under uh, Palo Palercio, uh, holding an incompetent client uh, in custody on the zero bond is a violation of his rights. That seems kind of stale. You said 2020? That's right. That's, that is correct, Your Honor. But he has been vague racked that he was actually just released from a state hospital uh, earlier this year. Um, well, let me just inquire a little bit more on, on that topic. When you say state hospital, uh, like he had a felony, he was incompetent, they sent him to the state hospital, or what What are, you, no, what are we talking about? It was a civil commitment. He was actually bake racked in February of 2021. Uh, they rolled the bake rack into March of 2021, and then in May of 2021, uh, he continued to be bake racked, so they sent him as a civilly committed to state hospital where he was released earlier this year. Okay, Sir Brian. He was released because he was restored, or why? Yeah, speak up a little. Was I'm sorry if I'll if, ask. I could sure. Was the release because he was restored to competency, or uh, it was just the bake rack? So I believe the bake rack criteria that he was not a harm to himself or to others, Your Honor. So that's why they would re they would have released him civilly from the bake rack because it was not a criminal. Uh, it was not a criminal uh, state hospital hold. These failures appears all all within that time frame that Mr. Lopez is is saying. I, I, um, Mr. Abreu? Well, Judge, it's the state's position that because of the amount of time from a previous finding of incompetence, although competency does stay with an individual until you are adjudicated competent to proceed, each case individually must make a finding, and that hasn't been done, and it's not the purposes of a bond at initial appearances. That would have to be done by a separate motion. And so the state would object to a direct ROR at this time. Your Honor, defense would argue that under Dow's uh, 930 Southern 2nd 838, uh, it is a violation of essential fairness to detain an accused that has been found incompetent. It is illogical to hold an incompetent defendant because they can they can be detained indefinitely without the finding of guilt due to their incompetence because they cannot be held uh, they cannot be brought forward to trial. So although the, the state argues that the uh, incompetence uh, could be stale, um, incompetence follows the person, and the state does not have a base has not uh, brought any ex ex uh, as any circumstances as to Mr. Ortner's competency being restored. Okay. I'm, I'm going to find the finding stale. I'm going to keep the bonds. So I'm going to stay the bonds on three. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Dave Jimenez. So your name and date of birth, please. Dave Jimenez, January 2nd of 2000. All right, Mr. Jimenez, you are here on two different ca or cases. I'm going to appoint Mr. Lopez in his office to represent you. In the first case, you have two counts, driving with a license suspended or revoked. Second count is fleeing or eluding a uh, law enforcement officer with license irons activated. On the second case, it's grand theft auto. On the first case, I am going to find probable cause for both counts. I'm going to set your bond at 500 on count one, 1,500 on count two. So that's the total bond on first case of $2,000. Order you not to operate a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license. On the Grand Theft Auto, I'm going to find PC. Set your bond at 2,500. Order you, um, I'll put no additional conditions on that one. Um, I am going to uh, revoke or find an on view violation on cases 22 MM 528 and 21 CF 7186. All right. Thank you. Yes, I'll say the 2500. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. All right, thank you. Joshua Madera. Uh, 
Hello, my name is Joshua Madera, January 25th, 1985. All right, I'm going to appoint Mr. Lopez and his office to represent you on this case. Um, anybody ever call you Josh Wood? Yes, sir. No. Um, all right, uh, you are here on one count of battery, domestic violence. Finders probable cause for that charge. I will um, order you be released on $100 bond with PTR. I'm going to order no contact with the victim to maintain separate residence and not to possess any weapons of any kind, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Jerry Rivera. I don't know if it's that Jerry Rivera. Different Jerry Rivera? All right, sir, your name and date of birth. Jerry Rivera, 41080. All right, Mr. Rivera, I'm going to appoint Mr. Lopez and his office to represent you on this case. You're here on three counts. First one is criminal mischief. Second one is petty theft. Third one is battery. I'm going to find probable cause for those charges. I'm going to set your bond as follows. On count one, 250. On count two, 250. On count three, 250 with PTR. And um, with PTR on all three, actually. And I'll order you to not have any contact with the victim uh, to maintain a separate residence. Uh, I will allow one time return with law enforcement and no weapons of any kind. Yes, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Chris Rock. And we have Jerry Rivera and then Chris Rock. Stellar lineup. Your Honor. I know. Uh, sir, your name and date of birth. Sir. My name is Christopher Rock, January 10th, 1991. All right, Mr. Rock, how are you doing today? Sir, could be better, but I'm alive and kicking, sir. I understand, I understand. Um, I'm going to appoint Mr. Lopez and his office to represent you on this case. You're here on one count of retail theft, uh, petty theft. Um, I'm going to find probable cause for that charge. What's his history? Your Honor, he's currently out on bond in Orange County for a battery in 22MM3954. He has no prior history outside of that, um, outside of Florida. Um, no, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> he has no history outside of that charge. However, he does his have history out of New York in 2018 for a robbery, which he was found guilty of in 2019. Okay. Um, on a petty theft, I'll ROR him, and then I'm going to revoke on the uh, battery. The 22MM3954. He'll return to the scene um, as a condition on the current case. Um, and uh, Casey Jonas. The Jonas brother, too. Your Honor, uh, Mr. Jonas refused. I would be waiving his appearance. I invest hours of my time every single day to make these videos possible. Unfortunately the engagement on my videos has been very low recently. Most of the Bond Court viewers do not hit the like button on my videos. Please, 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 hit the like button on my videos. The YouTube algorithms heavily favor videos with more likes. If you do not like my videos then please tell me why in the comments and I can make changes to improve the channel. Thank you to all of you that do hit the like button, I am sorry that you have to hear this repetitive message, but without this message, less than 10% of viewers will like my videos. Thank you to all of my patrons, members, and supporters. You are the reason that I am able to upload new Bond Chords daily. All members and patrons receive access to the Bond Court Discord server. Please send me a message on Patreon or leave a comment on YouTube if you are unable to join the server. Thank you all for your support.